Hi and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how I paint this painting um, taken from one of my photographs um, near Devil's Dyke on the South Downs, um, just painting a few loose trees. So, so here's my photograph which will be provided um, to download along with the sketch uh, the pencil drawing on Patreon. So if you're interested in downloading either the sketch or the photograph or both, then please follow the link below. So the first thing to do is to pick out the main trees that you want to use in your painting. I shall have um, a large tree on the right, um, a group of little trees as well in front of it, a few sort of in the mid-ground in the centre as you can see here in this pencil sketch and one over on the left and I have tried to draw my branches so that they overlap and interweave and are fairly tangled um, but still keeping lots of light which I'm going to create with um, a very simple um, flat wash which I'm now painting with my large Ron Ranson Pro Art Harky brush. My paper is Milford 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It, it's taped to my board with ordinary decorators masking tape and my board at an angle of about 45 degrees and you can see the paint sort of running and drifting down the page. This is just a mixture of ultramarine blue and a little bit of Payne's grey to give me a bluish grey and you can see that it's drying really nicely and it'll dry a lot lighter than that and so I should just get that nice light sky showing through between my trees. And now this is ultramarine blue and cad yellow. Um, it's mixed up very loosely and roughly on my palette. So I'm picking up different shades of green and yellow at the same time on my brush. As you can see, that's creating instant texture and colour. And I have now laid my board flat so my sky wash won't move. It won't go any further. It should just dry nice and flat and pale. And I'm feathering out the horizon a little bit more. And now I'm using the corner of a plastic store card. You could use the end of a paintbrush or a palette knife. And I'm etching the corner through the damp paint to create some white branches. So it's etching through to show the white of the paper. And that will give me some nice high lit branches when I come to paint them in darker later. And then the last thing that I want to do is use some ordinary table salt, finely ground, and sprinkle that into the damp paint in the foreground. And hopefully what will happen is each salt grain will push the paint away as it dries and leave little tiny flower-shaped blooms um, in the foreground. And that should be really pretty for a little carpet of flowers under my trees. So now I'm going to leave it to dry completely. And here it is, it's dried beautifully. It's a little bit lighter, as you can see, um, than it was when it was wet. Now my board's back up at an angle of 45 degrees and I'm using a dry brush to brush off any remaining little tiny salt crystals. And I'm really pleased with the effects. It just looks like that lovely natural scatter of wildflowers just under the trees. So now to paint the trees, I've mixed up um, Again, a sort of um, varied hue mixture of ultramarine blue, burnt umber, there's a little bit of burnt sienna in it and a bit of Payne's grey. And as I say, unevenly mixed, so I can pick up slightly different shades to give my trees a bit of variety. Now I'm focusing um, on the idea that the, the light is coming in from the right so I want the left hand side of my trees to be darker toned. Um, so I'm going to make them darker and then I'm going to feather the wash out with a bit of water to give me that sort of paler wash but I'm also going to try to be mindful of where some branches are coming in front of the trunks or going over others so you can see I'm painting around that branch that I etched out and revealed the white of the paper and that's making that branch now stand out nicely across the trunk. 
This is a small calligraphy brush, just um, a small generic one I found cheap on eBay. It's got a nice point. So for painting these sorts of branches, use any small brush with a good point that you're comfortable with using and take the pressure off as you come towards the end of the branches and sort of do it in a sort of stop start brush stroke if you see what I mean, so that your brush strokes get finer as the twigs become finer towards the ends of the branches. And then branch them off, bring sort of fine branches off of the ends of the branches and begin to build up the layers of your canopies. And now this is the same green that I used for the foreground. So mix, mix a mixture of um, ultramarine blue and cad yellow. And I'm using my small calligraphy brush just to dance in some paint very loosely around some of these branches. Um, this will give me the very loose effect of these sort of late spring, early summer foliage that I have in my photograph. So it's not massively leafy. I'm not going to have these trees completely covered in foliage because I want to really focus on the branches here. But I want some of this foliage to sort of balance out the trees. So as I say, I'm just dancing in the paint with the brush. You could equally do this with sort of a larger brush if you choose to. Um, and then going into your sort of brown colour and then dabbing the brown into the wet washes of foliage. And because the board's at 45 degrees, the brown is marrying and mingling with the wet green paint, but it's running down, it's pooling up mostly around the bottom of those areas. And that's creating naturally shadowed canopy areas. Now I shall go across the entire painting um, doing exactly the same, painting a few branches um, or tree trunks, and then going in and adding foliage in and around them and then going back in and adding more branches or more shadow and shading to my branches and trunks if it needs it. Again there's that dark side on the left or where the branches are shaded by the canopies. We're starting to actually get a fairly sort of um, 3D look to these trees. I can brighten up certain areas of the leaves um, with almost pure cad yellow. And that's where the sun is, is coming through the clearing and hitting the leaves a little bit more brightly towards the middle. So continuing to work across the painting, adding in my different trees and this is um, just the last little group of trees um, one main trunk and there'll be some smaller branches and you can see that by um, using a larger brush we can add the foliage a lot more quickly this is my um, pro art ron ranson harky brush and scrunched up and just using the corner it gives us some lovely uh, foliage effects with that green and then using the green, which is very richly tinted with cad yellow, I'm sweeping it across the left side of my foreground. Now this is to frame the flowers. So I'm leaving the white salt blooms um, alone, just dragging the paint slightly and lightly across and into that area. And I'm going to now build up some sort of weedy, grassy, ferny textures around those flowers and to really bed my trees into the landscape, keeping it nice and simple. But quickly first, um, while the canopy paint there is still wet, using the corner of my store card and etching through some light branches through the canopies and that just adds a bit more sparkle, a bit more freshness. And then using the card corner to drag grass shapes through that 
foreground through that intense bright yellow paint which of course would dry back a bit lighter but we can reduce the intensity by introducing all these paler grasses where we pu push the paint away with the corner of the cart and we get this tangle of grasses um, it's a kind of a something and nothing foreground um, as the eye hopefully will skim over those areas and look at the flowers and the trees. So I'm just going back in and darkening up some of the trunks here and there, just strengthening them up in places without overdoing it too much, but just enough shadow on the left side. And I think that's just about finished. Um, I'm going to take the tape off because that gives me a chance to see it with fresh eyes. Once the tape's removed and you see a nice clean white border, you can sort of see if there's anything that's sort of a bit out of balance tone-wise um, or if there's any small additions that need to be made. So I can see now that I'm removing the tape that I need a little bit of darker sort of foliage coming out from the base of the trees. So I'm using my small calligraphy brush just to pull up a few little dark grasses and things, just to carefully make sure that I've bedded my trees into the ground a bit more and that they're just a bit more in shadow around the base. And I think tone wise, we are much more balanced now, just with that small addition of dark accents at the base of the trees. So I hope that was helpful. And if you do want to have a more in-depth tutorial um, for this painting, including an in-depth video that's exclusive um, to Patreon about the drawing of the trees, then follow the link below. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave us a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as it really helps the channel and it really helps with my reach and thank you so much to my wonderful Patreon group um, who support this channel and I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.